Hi guys, I'm really excited to show you how to crochet this awesome chunky cowl. It's great, you can pull it down and wear it over your shoulders like this. You can pull it forward and wear it like a cowl. It's great to wear on its own. I love to just wear it around the house. It's fun to wear underneath the big jacket. It keeps you really warm. It's great for gifts. Make yourself one too. Anyway, I'm excited to walk you through exactly how to make this. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. It just helps other crocheters find the video so they can make one too. I appreciate the support. Hi guys, I am excited to show you how to make this awesome crochet cowl. It's a great quick project. Um, it's knit in the round, and then we have a row where we um, increase stitches, and then we continue on in the round. So it's a total of 20 rounds, uh, 10 rounds in this size, and then we do one row to expand, and then nine more rounds. So we've got a total of 20 rounds. It measures approximately 13 inches wide at the small at the smaller part and it expands out to about 20 inches wide and overall it is about 18 inches in length so it's a pretty large cowl so I just wanted to give you some measurements for reference in case uh, you're looking to change up the size or use a different yarn weight and crochet hook all right guys to make this cowl you will need just over two skeins so you will need a total of three skeins of um, Lion Brand Wool East Thick and Quick yarn or equivalent yarn. One skein is six ounces, 170 grams, 106 yards or 97 meters. It is considered a super bulky weight yarn. You will need a size P crochet hook, 11.5 millimeters. You will need a tapestry needle and you will need a pair of scissors. We are gonna start by chaining 40 stitches. So first we're gonna make a slip knot. And we are gonna put the slip knot on the crochet hook. We're gonna take our working yarn and start chaining 40. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Forty. All right, and now we're going to join the work in the round, and we have to be careful when we join the work in the round to not twist any of the stitches. So I tend to lay my work down and kind of flatten it out a little bit, and then at the end, I will slowly bring it around. And what we're gonna do is go into that first stitch and we are gonna go through that middle kind of bump. When we have the work turned over on the back side, you can see these bumps. So I went through the first bump and we are gonna join, and this is a good time too, just to check and make sure your work isn't twisted. So the inside of, of the work is um, all going one direction and then those bumps are all around the outside and we're gonna join in the round by pulling the yarn over and going through two stitches. Okay, so now our work, we're gonna work around into the back of the work where we see these bumps, okay? If you turn it around on this side, you can see that it's kind of a braided look. We are gonna work in those bumps for this first row, this first round. So we are gonna start by chaining two stitches. And we are not gonna turn the work yet. We are just gonna keep working in this one direction. So that is our first 
kind of stitch for this round we are going to yarn over insert the hook into the next bump that's the bump that we just worked in we're going to insert the hook into this next bump yarn over again pull through one loop yarn over pull through two loops yarn over two loops that is a double crochet so yarn over insert your hook into that next ridge that next bump on the back side of the work yarn over pull up one loop yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops yarn over insert hook into that next bump yarn over pull through yarn over insert your hook into that next bump pull up yarn over so you always do a yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull up one yarn over pull up two yarn over pull through two so you are going to continue double crocheting across this entire round and you just keep track just keep track making sure you're not twisting the work as you pick up and go through that next loop on the bottom of the work all right so this is what it's starting to look like yarn over insert your hook yarn over pull up through one loop yarn over two yarn over two and then you just keep doing this all the way around All right, I am nearing the end of my first round here with these double crochet stitches. I've got a few more stitches left. I just wanted to show you what it starts to look like as you complete this first round. And basically now you just want to do a double crochet into this last space and if you get confused like oh do I do one in this last space or not um, start count you can just count your stitches this chain two counts as your first double crochet on this round and throughout all the other rounds so that's two four six eight ten 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. So we are going for 40 stitches and we have that. So we are good to go. We are going to join the work in the round now by simply doing a slip stitch into this space right here. This is that chain two space. So at the top of that, we're gonna insert our hook, yarn over and just simply pull through both loops that were on the hook. And that just closes the work up. And one thing I wanted to note when you do close that up, make sure your work isn't twisted here. I'll show you that one more time. You just really wanna make sure that your work um, lays flat and isn't twisted and then you simply just go through that space at the top of the chain two, yarn over and pull through that space and the loop that's on your hook so you just have one loop left okay now we're gonna chain two and I usually try to chain two a little bit loosely here chain two and now we are going to turn the work and we are going to start double crocheting. We're not going to
double crochet into this first space, we're going to double crochet into the next space. So we're going to just simply yarn over. And now we will be inserting our hook into the double crochet, the top of the double crochet we just made. Okay, so you will see here we've got all of these spaces here, 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 here. And you insert your hook, you yarn over and insert your hook into that space where, and you, you will end up having um, two bars kind of through there as that for that stitch. And then you yarn over, pull up one loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, so yarn over, insert your hook into that next double crochet space, pull through, and you just keep working all the way across. So this is our second round of double crochet. We will be completing 10 rounds of this. We're on our second round. And you just keep working all the way across. And then we will simply join the work with a slip stitch again, do a chain two, turn the work, and do another round. So I'm gonna continue around and I'll show you again once I come around how to um, join the work again. All right, I've got a few more stitches here for the end of this round. And you can see as we're nearing the end here, um, I just wanted to point out you're gonna be doing a double crochet into that loop there and that loop there. That, that double crochet space and that double crochet space. This is our chain two. So you work up all the way up until that chain two. We skip a stitch when we start, but we go into this last stitch before the end. And that just helps to keep um, the same number of stitches on each round, 40 stitches. So we, we do a double crochet in that chain, a double crochet space and this last space right here. And now we find the top of that chain two space, which is right here insert the hook and do a slip stitch through and now we have done two rounds so we simply just chain two again turn the work skip that first double crochet space and do the double crochet into that next double crochet space and you just simply keep repeating this now until you have 10 rounds. So I will see you back here once you've completed 10 rounds. And you can start to count 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Okay, so keep working your double crochets, making sure you maintain 40 stitches, including that chain 2 space. That chain 2 counts as one of the 40 stitches. So just keep working in the round here with your double crochets until you have completed 10 rounds. I am nearing the end of my 10th round here and I've got one more double crochet stitch to make. I'm going to join with a slip stitch and I just wanted to show you how you can see how many rounds you've made. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're gonna chain two, we're gonna turn the work, and now we're going to do our increase round where we increase every other stitch. So we're gonna do a half double crochet, I'm sorry, we're gonna do a double crochet into the stitch right next to the chain two. So that's two stitches in one. We're gonna do a one double crochet stitch into the next double crochet space. Now we're gonna do two double crochets in the next space. So I just did a double crochet here. I'm going to yarn over and do another double crochet in that same space. 
one double crochet in the next space, then two double crochets in the next space, one double crochet in the next space, two double crochets. So when I do, now you can see, kind of looking back, that there are two double crochet stitches in every other double crochet space. So you're gonna repeat this all the way around. So we are now gonna go from 40 stitches to 60 um, because we are increasing a stitch every other space. All right, so continue this all the way around. All right, I'm nearing the end here of my increase round, so I'm gonna do two stitches in the second to last double crochet space, and then I'm just gonna end with one stitch here. I'm gonna join with a slip stitch, and now I'm gonna just count my stitches just to make sure I've got the correct number of stitches. So count your stitches and make sure you have 60 stitches. Okay, so I've got 60 stitches here. We just joined with the slip stitch. Um, and now you're gonna chain two and just continue doing um, half double crochet rounds. So now you can see our increase round here. So we've gone from 40 stitches to 60 stitches. So now you're gonna do nine more rounds of just doing um, a, a, a double crochet um, stitch in every double crochet space. So you will continue to have 60 double crochets all the way around. So we are on our 12th round. We did 10 rounds of 40 stitches. We did one increase round to get to 60 and now we're going to do nine more rounds of just doing double crochets in every double crochet space. So I will see you back here after you've completed 20 total rounds. And then I will show you how to end the work. I did just wanna show you how I join my next skein when I crochet. It's a little different than when I knit. I do just tie a simple knot. Um, I know people do this in many different ways, but I do tie a knot this way, kind of get it to the very end here. And um, with crochet, what's nice is that it's a little easier to hide that knot because the work is just so much bulkier anyway. Um, so there's my knot and it'll be on the inside of the work. And that's just how I join my work when I, when I crochet. Okay, so I just completed um, my 14th round and I just wanted to show you what it was all looking like. So I have my 10 rounds here for the top portion and then we've got the increase row and I've done three more rounds after that. So I just wanted to kind of show you how it's turning out um, and how the increases make it kind of balloon out as you go. So I have six more rounds to make because um, I've done 14 total. So I've got six more rounds to get to 20, but I just wanted to show you what it was looking like. All right, I am just finishing up my 20th round here on the cowl. So I am about finished and I am just going to complete the last two double crochets and then close the round up with a slip stitch here. And then I'm just going to pull through and cut my work. Just gonna pull this through. 
And now we are done with the cowl. It's pretty tall. You can see um, we've got 10 rounds here. We've done our, we did our increase round and 10 rounds here on the bottom. So now we're gonna weave in our ends and you can use a tapestry needle or um, you can use your crochet hook um, to kind of weave everything through. And I usually just kind of take, um, I take my tapestry needle here, weave the end through. And just kind of weave it back through here and down the stitch and pull it through. And then, yeah, I mean, and there's no exact science to weaving in ends. And then I um, like to like pull it through here. And I will snip it. And you just do the same thing for the other end and you're ready to wear your cowl.